Are you a fan of Hulk 181? This book and so much more on this edition of What's in the Press. Hey there, I'm Kevin the Comic Doctor, and I'm a comic book presser located in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. And this is What's in the Press, the show where I go over all the awesome books that come through my shop from week to week. If that sounds like fun, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and leave a comment for your chance to win some free pressing and grading by CGC. More details at the end of this video. Here we go. Okay, well, our first order comes to us from Alex out of Toronto. Now, these comics have already been cleaned. Uh, they'll be pressed this week. First off, we start up with a uh, with a Superman 199 and a Tomb of Dracula number one, as well as a ASM 18, also an ASM 31. Now, this is, these are in no particular order, obviously. Next, Alex submitted an ASM 19 as well as an ASM 25 an ASM 37 and a Daredevil 6 a Fantastic Four 67 and a Fantastic Four number 94 Like I said, no order. Here's a Daredevil number five. And a Daredevil number eight. A Marvel premiere number one. And a Mr. Miracle number four. Alex also submits a Batman 156, an Avengers number seven, a Strange Tales 102, and a Strange Tales 115, another Strange Tales 126, a Submariner number nine, copy of Thor 136 and a copy of Thor 154 and Alex Alex finishes up the order with three copies of Shazam number eight all right thank you so much Alex for your submission so last week we had some really nice books submitted to me uh, by Jack out of Markham. Uh, these are, here are a few more of Jack's books. These have been cleaned and pressed and they're ready to be returned to Jack. First off, uh, another copy of Giant Size X-Men 1. A really, really sharp copy of Captain America 100. Now this comic actually had a, um, uh, I was, I'm not sure what to call it. There was, there was like a, a pinched uh, area here that was caused by the strap that would bind uh, a stack of comics together. Anyhow, I was able to remove that um, that defect completely. So that was awesome. It required some uh, humidification and uh, and some other uh, <laughs> trade secret fixes, and I was able to remove that defect. Uh, Jack also submits. And this is the one we saw at the beginning of the show. A copy of Hulk 181. And a really nice copy of Amazing Spider-Man 13 featuring the first appearance of Mysterio. And we're going to see even more of Jack's books in the upcoming weeks. Thanks for your submission once again, Jack. Okay, so oftentimes I do receive submissions that consist of just a single book. Unfortunately, just like all the other submissions, I get to the books as they come in. So regardless if it's you know 15 or 20 books or just a single book, um, they have to wait their turn like all the rest. That being said, I have a few books here that have been kind of sitting around for a little longer than I'd like, so I've decided to just get them done and return to their owner uh, this week. So uh, we start off with a uh, copy of Star Wars 42 uh, from Tyler out of Kentucky. Next we have a really nice copy of Giant Size X-Men 
that's brought to us from Mike out of um, Orleans, Ontario. That's outside of Ottawa. Uh, next, we have a copy of uh, Batman 227 brought to us or sent in by Eduardo out of Los Angeles. Now, this copy, as you can, if you can notice it or not, it has a really, uh, really bad uh, spine roll. I'll be fixing that. I'll probably take a picture of this one and post it on my Instagram page. Uh, if you want to visit my Instagram page, you can find the uh, link to that right down here, somewhere, <laughs> at Comic Doc. Check it out. I, have a, I just posted a whole bunch of before and after shots as well. So keep your eye open for this Batman that belongs to Eduardo. Uh, next, we have from Anthony out of New Jersey, a uh, nice copy of Amazing Spider-Man 300. And I think finally uh, from uh, Jay Plazier out of uh, Brandon, Manitoba, a uh, nice copy of Tales, um, Tales of Suspense 94, featuring the first appearance of MODOK. Again, guys, thank you so much for your submissions, all of you, and thank you for your patience. These books will all get done this week. Okay, well, that's it for this edition of What's in the Press. Thank you so much for sticking around to the very end. Hey, do you have a comic that's in need of the doctor's touch? Let me know what that comic is down in the comment section below. And by doing so, and subscribing of course, you're automatically entered into a draw to win free pressing by me, the comic doctor, and grading by CGC when I hit 600 subscribers. And I'm almost there. So please remember to do that, okay? And again, thanks for dropping by. Take care. Bye-bye.